Hey everyone, Carl here with Literate Lessons, bringing you a Little Root Showdown this week. We're going to try and make these a more prominent part of our upload schedule, maybe once or twice a month, um, sometimes against me, myself, and Carter, maybe against a community member like we are doing today. Um, shout out to Blizz for being my uh, test subject slash victim slash play partner this week. Uh, we are playing in the Little Root Dojo. If you don't know what that is, it is our community best of three friendlies. Um, once a week you get signed up and randomly paired with an opponent that you haven't had in the last couple weeks. And winner gets three points towards qualifying for our Little Root Invitational in the fall. The loser gets nothing. Winner takes all kinds of scenarios. Um, we started this as a way for people to practice for IRL events. And it's, so far, it's been doing really, really well. It's been really, really successful. And I hope to see you all in the Larut Dojo next week. So let's talk about the team a little bit here. We are playing Smeargle's Lunaladon team with Umbreon. I picked this one over, say, Austin Acosta's uh, Calyrex Shadow Groudon team because I like the extra bulk that Umbreon provides. Um, we're, we're playing a slower game, which I am more akin to than playing the more faster game with Venusaur and Calyrex Shadow and all that. Um, this team is really, really cool. We have AV Groudon that we've seen a million times on Rinya Sun. Um, we're packing Shadow Claw for specifically the Calyrex Shadow matchup, which is really, really good. Um, also, just can help check against Yveltal with Stone Edge, uh, Amoongus with, with, by using Heat Crash, so on and so forth. Um, obviously, it's our... We have the most of the Rinya core here with Charizard, Incineroar, and Gastrodon. This is kind of the main mode of the team, I feel like, with the secondary mode being with Lunala, Umbreon, and doing stuff that way. Um, depending on who's playing what, it can be a little interesting on who you bring in your back a lot of the time. So yeah, I'm excited to play against Blizz, and let's just get this started. Looks like we are playing against the... I, I don't know if it's called Crystal Rain. I, I, I'm i out of the loop a little bit. I, I only know this as Screens Ogre, but they might have actually named it since then. So I think this is the Crystal Rain team or something similar to it. So this will be a good uh, matchup of power versus power here because we're going to be doing a lot of weather wars. Um, overall, Gastrodon looks great. Um, it forces them to bring Rillaboom which doesn't do well into our sun mode with Zard. So I think we could lead like Incineroar or Umbreon with Charizard with Groudon, Gastrodon in the back. Um, Lunala doesn't do a ton, but we might be able to pick up like a, a decent chunk of damage on Zapdos if that's something we're interested in doing. I could also just lead Groudon Zard and put a ton of pressure, make them switch, and we could play this game all day. Um, I think I like leading Zard, Ensign, with Gastrodon, and Groudon in the back. Their win condition against me, I guess my Charizard is Zapdos, so if I have double ground type, it's going to be very hard for them to actually do that. And this doesn't play into Eerie Impulse shenanigans either. Yeah, let's do this. Good luck to my opponent. I am excited to play VGC once again after not playing for a while. Um, I've been testing some stuff in the background on Showdown when I in my free time, but we'll get we'll get to those teams eventually as we as we transgress trans transverse the rest of this format. So we're leading Grimstar or Kyogre. That is cool. So I wonder if they are fast. Um, I wonder if they're going to be a fast Grimmsnarl. So what we can do... I wonder if they just take the bait. They probably don't, right? They're smart enough. They don't, they don't take the bait there and just water attack into my Gastrodon. I mean, I could, I could just take the bait there. Um, I like pivoting into Gastrodon, and I like clicking Fake Out into the Grimmsnarl. Snarl. 
actually... I'm not gonna have time, I'm not gonna have time. We got the swap off. Oh no, we didn't, okay. Well, we're just gonna... We're just gonna die then. Losing this game because we timed out. This, this tells you how long it's been since I've played. Uh, I am not used to the timer anymore. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, we get to protect. Okay, so we're not we're not completely boned here. Setting up light screen is fine. Max lightning, sure. We tank that all day, every day. Life orb, got it. Burn? Lucky burn? No. Okay. No. No, we're not giving up. Um, so, for timing out, that went about as good as it could be. Um, so we're gonna pivot into Gastrodon. And he doesn't care about this uh, Kyogre at all. Uh, this Incineroar at all. We're gonna stall out his Dynamax here. Sneaky, sneaky. I, I know how this game works. <laughs> yep, you could spirit break my Incineroar. That's fine. And then we're going to parting shot off of your Kyogre. And go into my Groudon. We take the weather away. We're plus one on the Gastrodon now. So I like this clicking Earth Power into Grimmsnarl. And I think we're going to pivot back into Ensign. Just going to put some chip on the Grimmsnarl stall out their last turn of Dynamax. Wonder if it's Max Strike, uh, if it's if it's Hyper Beam Kyogre, giving them Max Strike. That'd be cool. Yeah, Reflect is fine. Like we're 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 in it for the longer game than you guys are. Yeah, Hailstorm into my Gastrodon. No, into my Ensign. Even better. Even better. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we don't have Yawn in this Gastrodon. Not like it matters because there's Electric Terrain up. Uh. No pivot from the Grim Snarl tells me that they either didn't bring Rilla and this expected Kyogre to do the work for them. I don't know. So for timing out turn one, this went really well. Had we done the actual play that I expected to turn one, that was switching Gastrodon in, uh, we would have been in a okay spot still. Um, but we also wouldn't be plus one Gastrodon right now. So, what we can do here is Earth Power here and actually, I like Earth Power, Grim Snarl, Fake Out, Kyogre. Show me... Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. We'll get a little bit of chip on the Rillaboom here. That almost looks like AV. Special Defense Drop is good.
all this hail chip doesn't really mean anything. We're all going to heal it up anyway. Their Kyogre's at minus one. So that means I can probably protect and parting shot into Kyogre and I might live the hit. I could also just click Flare Blitz into Rillaboom. I don't hate that line. I still have my max. If I get rid of Rillaboom, Groudon can Dynamax and just Steamroll. Yep. Grimmsnarl's fine. Yep, sure. Protect goes off. You turn into Incineroar is also fine. Show me your fourth. I want to see what the last Pokemon is. I would love to see Zacian here. Yes! Okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna get some decent chip on this AC. We're probably gonna lose our instant here, unfortunately. Uh no, we might actually keep instant. We get to keep instant around. I might let Incineroar go down here just to get a free pivot. Uh, he has nothing that I can switch in on Earth Power here. And I'm going to click Parting Shot into... The Grim Starl. In case he protects Zacian here and tries to do some shenanigans trying to pick up a KO on an instant with his Grim Snarl. That's fine. You can substitute all you want, dude. We'll break the sub here, because that puts us at neutral. We still break the sub. And we have Incineroar still. We can bring, uh, we can bring in Charizard. Bring Charizard in. And we take out the substitute. <laughs> Crit two. We would have O code anyway after the minus after the special attack drop with crit, but I think Zacian has enough in it for one more. So I think the line here is now that Gr uh, Gastrodon is neutral and doesn't have a boost anymore. We pivot Gastrodon out into Groudon and Blast Burn into the. Um, into the Grimmsnarl slot, or I could keep playing it safe and Earth Power into the Grimmsnarl and pivot into Instant. I don't hate this line either. I expect Zacy to protect here just to try and that's even better. Yeah, you just pivot it out. Sure. Into Kyogre. Yep. Them expecting me to bring in my Groudon probably, but then they're not getting any. Uh, they're not. They're not getting the weather win anyway, so it's fine. Oh, the double pivot. Okay. Put some more chip on the Rillaboom. Awesome. Special defense drop? Nope. Okay. Uh, grassy terrain might be running out here soon. Oh, 
I wonder what the over under is if they click fake out into my ensign to take it out with like an ice beam. Expecting me to protect. I'm gonna fake out into the Rillaboom slot and ice beam the Rillaboom. Since that since last time they expected me to protect Gastrodon anyway. This plays around Grassy Glide into my Gastrodon. That's fine too. Yep, that's fine. Put some damage on Grimmsnarl. Thunder into Ensign is perfectly fine. We're going to get a... We get to position ourselves here effectively. Because as long as Gastrodon is on the field, Kyogre can't click its water move. And so now... We can send in Groudon. I feel safe Dynamaxing Groudon now. Yeah, I definitely feel safe Dynamaxing Groudon now. I can bring Groudon in. I get the weather up. I can Earth Power, the Grim Snarl, Max Quake, the Grim Snarl slot. Actually, Ice Beam. Earth Power Kyogre. Max Quake the Grim Snarl. Kyogre comes out Rillaboom. Yeah, that's fine. Rillaboom can't take out both Groudon and uh Kyo uh, and uh, Gastrodon this turn. On oh, the next turn. And we're going to get a plus one special defense boost, so Kyogre's not even really a worry anymore. Yep, light screen's fine. Max Quake into the Grim Snarl. No Incineroar to intimidate my Groudon means that it's the best max target we have. Um, what they could do is bring Zacian in to try and double up on my Groudon. And if they do that, then I can easily just uh, pick up a KO with Earth Power. Special Defense Drop? Nope, okay. Uh, if they bring Kyogre in here, we can just Heat Crash the Rillaboom. Uh, Max Flare the Rillaboom. If they bring in Zacian here, we Max Quake or Max Phantasm. Okay. So yeah, they probably just double up here. We're going to Earth Power the Zacian slot and uh, Max Flare the Rillaboom slot. Expecting a Rillaboom pivot into Kyogre. Yep, there it is. We're going to get the weather back and they're going to lose uh, their Zacian. And so they won't be able to reset the weather next time. And we'll have we'll have weather for the rest of the game. That's fine. They'll have to pivot out their... Um, they'll have to pivot out uh, their... Either their Zacian or their Kyogre into Rillaboom to get the weather back. 
and they can't safely ever do that. Like, I'm not afraid of the Sacian at all. Especially since I, now that the Reflect's gone, I can Earth Power the... No, I can Ice Beam the Kyogre slot, because I expect it to be the Pivot. And then... Max Phantasm. I think I'm just going to Earth Power Zacian and Max Quake into Kyogre. If they bring out Rillaboom, they bring out Rillaboom. Sacred Sword. We live that one. Ice Beam. I think we live that too. Yep. Kyogre might be in Quake range. Yep. And then Zacian goes down to Earth Power. And then it's Rillaboom versus the rest of my team. With Sun up for another X amount of turns. For timing out on turn one, this became a uh, great game. And the fact that there's three minutes left in the game is uh, kind of sad, kind of not. Um, so this turn, we just click Ice Beam Heat Crash into the Rillaboom. Um, I've come to the conclusion that this thing is AV, uh, just because I haven't seen it use Grassy Glide yet, but it's using U-Turn. Um, so we just click Ice Beam and Heat Crash. Charizard's in the back. There's the Grassy Glide into my Groudon. You just... Okay. GG. Sun Boosted Heat Crash plus Ice Beam should take you out. Or just Heat Crash does it too. GG. On to game two. Two minutes left. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Almost timed out. So they played very aggressively with their Dynamax and their Kyogre, expecting it to just win the game, and it definitely was. I was able to definitely stall it out. So let's see if we can repeat that this time. I expect them to bring Incineroar this time, um, which means I might lead Umbreon Lunala, or just like Umbreon Incineroar, kind of just to play a stally game plan. I think Gastrodon is still very important, and I think either Incineroar or Charizard has to come. Um, I could play this Lunala game and leave Gastrodon at home and bring Incin. Um, Groudon can kind of deal with the Rillaboom. I found that out just a little while ago with the uh, heat crash, Sun Boost Heat Crash. Um, I think that Rillaboom is very much AV. Incineroar was really good at pinning the Zacian down and keeping the Rillaboom from just being a, a nuisance. We also were able to accurately pivot around protecting, um, protecting the, uh, Char the, protecting the Charizard turn one. I, that, that timeout really messed us up, though. So, I think the lead is Lunala Charizard. Groudon, and then Incineroar, or Gastrodon. Probably just Gastrodon. Because I think he, he leans more on Zapdos this time around. He could just bring the same four. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what the adjustments they make for uh, game two here. <laughs> Okay. Incineroar Kyogre. Okay. So they swapped out the Grimmsnarl for Incineroar. Which doesn't mean a ton to me because I have this Lunala. And I brought Gastrodon in the back and Groudon. So what I can do is just go for a Meteor Beam 
and pivot the Zard into Gastrodon like I planned the first time. I like that play. Because he's likely going to fake out into whatever the Zard slot is and then try to hit it with um, either ice or electric or water. And we'll just take the hit that way. That's fine. Incineroar comes out. We're going to get our plus one here. That's fine. I figured they were going to pivot the instant out because they think it's important when it's not. <laughs> um, so getting a plus one, you're going to Dynamax. That's fine. I wonder if they went for Lightning again. We take this hit on Lunala no matter what because Shadow Shield's great. Um, so we'll see what they ended up doing here. If they went for the Max Geyser thinking I wouldn't bring Gastrodon back, they're sorely mistaken. Okay, so my Lunala is faster than their Kyogre. That's good to know. If we connect here, this is great because we get a good chip on the Zacian. Yep, cool. This will be good chip damage. Yeah. And then... Hailstorm into probably Lunala. No into Gastro. That's fine. We take that all day, every day. We take that all day, every day. Heal up. I think this is the turn we click Protect. My Shadow Shield is broken. And they're going to want to Max Geyser me. At plus one, I think this takes it out. I think at plus one, this takes out the Zacian. We'll find out. Time to go on the aggressive. This also lowers the defense on the Kyogre for Groudon later. And if their Kyogre... Kyogre's going to be naturally slower than Charizard anyway. So that's also a bonus for us. My hope is that they tried to take out the Gastrodon. Um, no, Behemoth Blade? Yeah. Gonna double up. Oh, they can't double up into Lunala. We might survive this. We do! Hey, look at that! If I can take out your Zacian, this game is gonna be much easier for me to win. Yes! Awesome. This game became much easier for me. Hailstorm, please, into Gastrodon. Yeah! We lived that one, too! <laughs> um, Nog gets buffeted by Hail. Um, they have to have Brassy Glide, Rillaboom, exactly. They have to have Rillaboom here, exactly. Because Incineroar can't do it. It has to be Rillaboom. Show me Rillaboom. They could have brought Zapdos here. Yeah, there's Rillaboom. Okay. So the obvious play for them is to Brassy Glide into Lunala. We take more we take one more of Hail. Because we're from 43 to 21. No, I don't think we do take another one of Hail. Um hmm. But stalling out their whatever they're doing is great here. 
and then this one we can pivot into Charizard. Oh, I could have pivoted into Groudon, I guess, to remove the hail, but I think they're just going to click Max Hailstorm into Gastrodon every time anyway. If they attacked into Lunala, thinking they were going to get the free KO there, that, that's great. Good call on their part. Good switch. But this means my Lunala doesn't go down to Hail, and I get to bring in Groudon and threaten the Kyogre. Charizard wasn't winning this game, I'm going to be honest. With Incineroar being the one that's left in the back, they are very likely to pivot Kyogre out after I bring in... Um, my uh grout on i'm gonna bring grout on in they're gonna pivot kyogre out into incineroar most likely and i'm just gonna click the p blades and i'm gonna click max darkness into the rillaboom slot i'm gonna just click max phantasm and I'm going to click Key Crash. Wait, no I'm not. It's Max Rock Ball. Who's faster? I'm plus one, minus one attack. Max Phantasm into Kyogre. Heat Crash into Rillaboom. You're taking out my Lunala this turn, most likely, anyway. I still think Heat Crash Oko's this Rillaboom at minus one. I'm not sure. Yeah. Like, you were doing that anyway. Like, I knew this was going to happen. There was no point in pivoting into Gastrodon to try and prevent it. It's close. It's very, very close. I think we lose this one based on them just making better reads this game. Um, they definitely got the swap the Rillo, swap the Gastrodon into Charizard play right. Um, I'm gonna click recover. I don't think they're gonna. I think they're gonna expect me to click protect. I'm gonna click recover. I don't think they're gonna expect it. Nope, okay. They just went for it. That's fine. They just went for it. I expected them to think I was going to protect and just waste their turn. Waste their fake out that turn. So they changed out for Incineroar. So what we can do for the next one is just bring Umbreon. Strukeberry. Okay, cool. Good to know that one. Yeah, this game's over. If I could have picked up the KO on the Rillaboom, I think that would have been more... I was just trying to see how much damage we can do to the Rillaboom. This tells me that it's very bulky. Because normally Groudons do roughly 20%, and that barely did 15. So yeah, we're just going to run from this one. We're just done here. My Groudon is naturally faster than the Rillaboom. Gotta remember that one. My Groudon is naturally faster than the Rillaboom. No, I want to run. Yes. Because now that they they've seen our trick, we saw their trick. Um, they've respect they started respecting Gastrodon more. Um, so now what we can do is go on the offensive.
literally just go on the offensive now. Because we've shown them that, hey, we can both play this slow, long, drawn-out game. Now they're going to expect me to keep playing it that way, and now I can just pivot on a dime and say, no, I'm going to just set max wildfire and start blowing your stuff up, and you're going to click max hailstorm into my Charizard and feel bad. Like we have we have a game plan. That is for sure. Is it gonna work? I don't know. <laughs> went back to Grimstar. Well we just let we went back to the same leads that we had. So what can we do here? So there's this cool thing I can do is I can pivot Groudon in to the Incineroar slot and max Airstream the Kyogre to get speed control with my Groudon, make it faster than their Kyogre, and then we can start doing some cool stuff there. Um, I could also just Blast Burn. I think I want to do that and then pivot into Groudon. Likely going to Dynamax their Kyogre again. They're likely going to set screens. Um, they also probably have T-Wave. We're going for the big one here. I wonder if they just if they predicted this one coming this way in this time. They did not Dynamax. Okie dokie. That is great damage into the uh, Grimstar line. Now my Groudon is fast. Water spot is fine. Yeah, 100% okay there. Now we max airstream the Kyogre slot. And click P blades. Actually, I think we're gonna wildfire the Kyogre slot and click P blades. I'm just gonna Dynamax, that's fine. We're gonna get Wildfire's chip started, which is the important part here. They're going to probably click Max Geyser into Charizard, and that's fine. They haven't shown me what their speed control on Grimmsnarl is yet, if it has any. Scary face, yeah. That's fine. Took out their Grim Snarl. Just Max Lightning, sure. So now I know I'm faster on my Groudon than the Kyogre. We send in Incineroar to play the fake out game. There's their Rillaboom. They're going to click Grassy Glide into the Groudon slot, most likely. So I probably click Fake Out into the Rillaboom.
they click fake out into ground on here and just max geyser it down. We're just gonna click the P-Blades button. We're gonna we're gonna make them respect us. Yep. Yep, like we're gonna make them respect Brad on here. Put some chip. Called it. Hailstorm and a ground on. Yep. GG's. That's probably gonna be game here. I don't know if I can protect um the Groudon for that the Gastrodon for this long. Looking back, I probably should have airstreamed into Kyogre instead of Grimmsnarl. Um, not getting Wildfire off there either really sucks. It just goes to show the power of this uh, rain team, this Kyogre team. I've been preaching it and preaching it forever that this Kyogre team is the best, like, version of Kyogre. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just let him, we'll just let him KO us here. Um, I've been preaching for a while that this Kyogre team is probably the best iteration. Like, there's no more iterations you can do on top of it to make it better, in my opinion. Um, the only thing you can really do is change sets and items, and these like these six Pokemon work really well together. Uh, we tanked this, we've tanked it before, yep. And we're not sun boosted, but we're also not intimidated like we were last time. And so, Flare Blitz into the Zacian does a chunk. Yeah, does a real significant chunk. I wonder if I can play the predict game. I could freeze the Kyogre. I think that's our line here, is play to the freeze. Um, Cause they probably protect Zacian, pivot Kyogre out into Rillaboom. No, they're just gonna go for it? Okay. You can have the instant, yeah. Like I said, we're, we're gonna play to our outs, but I don't think the crit mattered. Um, we're just going to play to our outs anyway. Oh my goodness. Come on. Really? Hey! No, our turn. <laughs> our turn. <laughs> Freeze. No, unfortunate. Um... I don't think there's a lot we can do here. Um, we obviously can click the protect button here, and Zacian goes down to hail. Kyogre gets really weak, but then we can't deal with the Rillaboom. But where's the fun in that? I'll make the read. Nope, don't live the Sacred Sword. Okie dokie. GG's. GG's to Blizz. This game was great. Um, definitely got me in the second half there. Uh, made great reads game two. Um, I think I couldn't really adjust too much more to game three. Uh, Umbreon just never really lines up in that matchup that well. Um, especially with them not bringing, like, them bringing Rillaboom and, uh, Insacian means I can't really safely just sit Umbreon there and just click Snarl all game like I want to in front of Zapdos Kyogre. But, team was great. 
Uh, if you want to get the rental code, go back to the beginning of the video and get it there. I'm not bringing it up here again uh, because it's too much work. Um, thanks to Smeargirl for sharing this team with us. It was great. I really, really enjoyed it. And if you're interested in doing dojos yourself, make sure to join the Discord. Uh, our link is in the down below. Uh, they are free to enter. You can win enough of them in a row to get points to play in our Invitational in the fall. Um, and yeah. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at in the world. We will see you all on Monday for the podcast episode, Talking Scarlet and Violet. Bye, everyone.